On the Hill now, they continue, but uh, there's fear that they may be imploding. Senators temper expectations of a deal uh, being reached, with even some believing that President Biden doesn't want an agreement. This is all Biden wants. He wants to reach a bipartisan deal with Republicans in the Senate, you know, then have the House not pass it, and then he can go around saying, look, we tried. The crazy Republican MAGA people in the House wouldn't do it, so now they own the border crisis. So Chad Pergram tracks that. Is it dead in the water, Chad, or no? Well, good morning, Bill. You know, back in the 80s, it was where's the beef in the Senate. It's where's the bill, as in the border bill. Talks have dragged on for nearly two months and still no text of the bill. That frustrates senators. Sounds like they're a little behind schedule for that. But I, I just I'd like to see at this point, I'd like to see some text. You know, I mean, we've had everybody tell us this is the best deal in the world and nobody has seen a scrap of paper. Some skeptics do not like what they're hearing, even though they have not seen the bill. They believe the bill spends too much money. They worry it allows for too much overall immigration. I promise you, in the end, they'll say, we're going to fix the border. We just need to hire more judges and more people to process people. No, you fix the border by telling people, go back home. We're, we're full on the illegal side. We'll take you if you apply. If you have a job, you should have a sponsor. You show up. One negotiator, Democrat Chris Murphy, says they don't have much more to do. Murphy says it's possible the bill could hit the floor this week. There's concern that some lawmakers just want to kill the bill out of hand. Sadly, it's clear there are some in this Congress and beyond who wish to prevent bipartisan action on the border and on our national security challenges. These minority voices are cynically working to stymie bipartisan cooperation. Negotiators are now working on the international aid portion of the bill. There's concern about getting money to Ukraine. That part of the bill was left behind. Bill? Thank you, Chad. Chad Pergram in Washington, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.